Hey guys, I know it's been a while since I've done a video, just, um, life's gotten busy and keeping me busy. Um, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do a haul video on the, uh, back to school clothes and school supplies and all that I have to buy my oldest son, Zachary, who is starting kindergarten this year, um, bakes up for him, bakes up for me, um, I didn't realize how expensive it was to have a kid start school. And to think that I have to do this every year now. Um, but to get started, I'm going to start with some clothes. Um, we ended up finding some really good deals, both on between clothes and shoes, and then um, some good deals on supplies themselves. So the first bit I have are some pants from Children's Place. Um, couldn't beat the prices that they were having, plus I got a lot. Um, got some of these things during text for a week this past week. So we got a pair of gray pants, and I know they look huge. He's getting big, and I can't believe I had to go up a size in tops and bottoms for him. Just to think, he was I was buying four T's back in my Easter haul video, and now I'm buying five T's, if not a regular big boy's four. Um, and then I got just some regular... Um, regular blue jeans that are um I believe I got a couple skinny pair and and then and then a boot cut pair um the straight legs just don't look that great on him not that he cares um these are the boot cut ones these look good and the skinny jeans look good on him and these are a dark wash and then the next batch is what I got from Burlington. You can never beat Burlington, Burlington's prices to begin with. So let's see. We've got this shirt here. Um, all about Star Wars. Always. Um, and it's a long sleeve. I got a few long sleeves. Uh, most of them were short sleeves. But... Um, I know I'll have to buy some more long sleeves later when the weather starts changing, which we're not used to since we moved up here from Florida. So it's been a few years since we've had to really buy warm weather stuff. Um, then he wanted this Pokemon shirt. He's not too much into Pokemon like he used to be about a year ago, but he still enjoys it. And then he wanted, had to have Justice League because it had Batman on it. Um, that's been his new thing really between Star Wars is Batman or Lego Batman. Um, things always change with kids. And then he wanted this one that's just like the other one except it's just all Batman. I got him this plain black hoodie um, that he picked out and... I don't know why he picked out a plain black one, but he did. And then he picked out this red Adidas hoodie. And then it's it's that um like athletic Under Armour type material, which is really nice. Because he had a blue Nike one um, that no longer fits as well. It also has some nail polish on it when he got into my nail polish one day. Um, and then this next little batch is from Oshkosh. Um... I got him a shirt that says, I put the bro in brother, which I thought was really awesome. And this one here, um, this one and the next one actually glow in the dark. Um, this one looked sort of space, space it, um, because of the spaceships and all, um, figured it would go well with his Star Wars kick that he's got going on. And this one, because he's all about, like, gaming and stuff like that now because he's getting to the age and he's a boy um he'd rather be gaming so I thought that was really cute and then we got these super cool like sort of um distressed jeans for him and then we got just a pair of black jeans can't go wrong with a pair of black jeans and then the next little batch that I got of clothes um were partially bought by me partially bought by my mom and then partially bought, bought by my grandma um because my grandma wanted to 
buy him some school clothes as well as she also had a coupon at Kohl's that she had to use so it was like a win-win um situation he we got him some Star Wars shirt shorts which he can wear the first like month or so to school and then we got these I believe that yeah they're Hurley they're like a jogger type pant um they look really great on him and then just some like athletic type sweatpants sort of like they're sweatpants but not um they're like a lighter sweatpant and they fit really well as they fit really well as well and so he's got a couple pairs of pants that he can wear to school and of course more star wars he want, he wanted this one to wear on his first day at school to go with his backpack and lunchbox which you will be seeing in a little bit and then power rangers got this really nice top um it's not too it's not like a dressy top but it's not like just a regular plain t-shirt i like the little pocket um and both my mom and my grandma picked this shirt out so i guess it was meant to be for him to get this shirt um, we only got one though. Only needed one. And then this one is sort of the same thing, except it's gray. Got a little pocket, little buttons. Another Star Wars shirt. The this one actually glows in the dark. I believe it's the lightsabers that glow in the dark, but I'm not 100% positive on that. I haven't actually tried them yet. And then we've got a long sleeve um, Marilyn Terp shirt. Um, it's that athletic material, um, and we actually got a really good deal for it. It was on the clearance rack for, like, six bucks, and then my grandmother had that coupon for, like, an additional, like, 30% off, so we got it for, like, three dollars or something like that. So, when, it, and I believe it was originally, like, a $22 shirt, so can't beat that. And then another Star Wars. And more Star Wars. And I like how it's got like like um, metallic silver on it. That was really cool. And they those are that athletic material. Um, and then we've got a long sleeve shirt. And this goes with the hoodie that we got that I'll show you in just a second. Um, this is a long sleeve shirt with a hood um, by Har by Hurley as well. Um, like those other pants, it's got a pocket. And then this is the sweatshirt that goes well with that hoodie because of the gold and it's Star Wars. It's a full zip. Um, I think he's pretty much covered clothing wise, hopefully, um, for a little bit. And then from Carter's, I got these shoes for him. He liked them. They had this one and then they had like a copper color one, but he wanted blue because blue is his favorite color, which is fine. So these are sort of like his a pair of his like stylish shoes if that's what you want to call them and then we got him a pair we've got we got him two pairs of shoes from under armor um because they were having a really good sale um because we were only going to get one but then once we added up prices and then took the discounts off and stuff like that um we were going to make it work and then when we got to the register it was even cheaper than what we calculated and so we pretty much got two pairs of shoes, brand new pairs of shoes for like 50 bucks. So you can't beat that. Um, these are actually one of the new releases that they brought out just recently, I believe. Um, and they have a few different colors, but he wanted the green ones. Um, he calls them his basketball shoes. And then we got him some actually like athletic shoes as well for like gym and stuff like that for running and stuff that look really good on him and he's gone up in shoe size as well i thought he was a 10 and he's actually at least in the under armor shoes is an 11 which is crazy because he's catching up to me because i can wear a size 3 in kids so and he's at an 11 already um now i'm gonna go over the school supplies um with like his backpack his lunchbox and then everything that I had to buy um this backpack is um it's a bb8 so that's why he wanted to wear his bb8 shirt um we actually bought this last year for preschool but they didn't want full-size backpacks they actually didn't want any backpacks at all but we got away with him using a 
little itty bitty backpack um that is the army acu pattern and it says little soldier on it um we just had to make sure his name was on it and then he took like a change of clothes with him um but it's got a huge inside pocket it's got this little pocket here and then it lights up and makes noise feels like there's something in here um but it actually like lights up and makes noise which he thinks is super cool i just hope he's just not gonna be playing around with it ah it's probably all the stuff for the light light up that i feel down in there so that's his backpack and then his lunchbox he wanted bb8 to match so i got him a bb bb8 lunchbox um it's got this compartment up here for some some things to keep cool because it's got that um insulated material not that i don't think the bottom does um but the the bottom has it too but the bottom has the con um a little container um it comes with a set of utensils which is really neat i've never seen any um kids lunchbox come with that and then this little tray comes out for like the little sections for like a sandwich and some stuff um and i may not use this all the time when I pack lunches because we've already decided that, um, it's going to be better for me to pack lunches because then I know he's going to eat his lunch um, versus sending him with money or loading up a cart, the, the cart or a counter, whatever the school does because there may be days where he forgets about that or that there's something there and he just doesn't want any of it. Um, so at least if I pack a lunch, I know he'll eat. Um, and then as far as school supplies, we had to buy, he needed two plastic pocket three ring bind, uh, folders, one in red and one in blue. Um, composition, a uh, couple composition books. He wanted blue. <laughs> like I said, blue is his favorite color. Um, had, we had to buy 10 pencils of this specific brand. Which I think is absolutely ridiculous. A pencil is a pencil. But it had to be this brand. But I couldn't find a 10 pack. So I just got a 24 pack. Plus I think it's one of the supplies that they share with the entire class anyway. So they have like twice as much. Um, pack. They said a large box of crowns. I didn't know what they meant by large box. Whether they meant like the 24 pack. Or like. Because they have. You know how they have like the different number packs. So I just went with the one in the middle of a 48 pack and hopefully that's enough because i just i had this feeling that it's going to be one of those where they take all the box of crowns from everybody and just toss them in a big bin for the entire class to use um just because on the school supply list um they had um a section where it was a bunch of general supplies and then they had like a section for like all the girls in the class have to bring these three items and boys have to bring these three items and crowns and pencils were on the boys list so of course because i have boys i had to buy that for him well one boy going to school that is um the standard glue um they needed three packs of dry erase markers which i think is absolutely ridiculous um so i just picked up the smallest and cheapest pack that i could find they never they didn't say what size pack i had to get um and then had to get 10 glue sticks um they wanted white but i couldn't find white glue sticks anywhere they specifically said no purple or pink which doesn't make sense to me when that's what they do do nowadays um so me and my husband picked up the disappearing purple glue because that's all we could find and i guess if they have a problem with it they'll have to talk to it i guess call us or whatever because i couldn't find anything anywhere else um, and then they wanted a large size, and I was like, I have never seen a, like, large size glue stick. Um, baby wipes. I kind of understand that because kids get messy with when they do, like, arts and crafts, whether it's with the glue or with paint or whatever. And then, on the boys' list, they had to have a box of gallon freezer bags, which makes no sense to me i wonder what they're going to use them for because on the girls they needed snack size and sandwich size bags um and then the girls also had to bring colored pencils 
um, a few extra things that we picked up was the Star Wars composition book just because I didn't know if he would be able to use this one in school because the list specifically said a marble book um but I figured he could use this at home um we got an extra pack of pencils for at home because I don't know if like I say because I, I just feel like the pencils are going to be shared in the class I don't know if he's going to be able to bring any home to do his homework and stuff um so I got a pack of pencils to keep at home and then he wanted a pencil case to take back and forth to school. Not that I feel like he's going to use it a whole lot. Um, but they didn't have a Star Wars one, which he was really sad about. But he um, went for Avengers instead. Because um, it was this, Trolls, or Minions. And then there was one more, but I can't remember what it was. And so he wanted Avengers. Um, that, I believe, is all of the school stuff for the back to school haul. I'm going to sit here and put everything back away. Um, I'm actually going to put all the school supplies in his backpack. That way that's ready to go in a couple of weeks when he starts school. Um, and then I'm going to pack all the clothes up in a bin other than the ginormous plastic Coles bag that they were all in. That way um, they sort of stay safe and clean and everything like that um, until they are ready to be worn during school season. everything up and all like that um if I even liked it enough to put it in the video um uh if I do what you saw if you were wondering what you saw me putting it in it was some 31 totes um I love I love my 31 totes I'm not actually sure what bag this was I know we don't I know they don't have it anymore which kind of sucks because I like it because it's this um, if you look here, it's this really large bag that has handles, um, or has a shoulder strap. Um, you can buckle it here so it doesn't, like, flop open or anything like that. And then it's got three of these that fit inside of it. 
Um, and this first one is where I put all of the clothes. I put the sh his shoes, um, the extra school supplies, um, and his lunchbox. And then I just stuck his backpack in this other one. So that way he's not trying to get into it um, and mess things up and all. That way it's still ready to go and in nice condition for the first day of school. So, I hope you liked my video, and I know in my Easter haul video I said that I would do my my story video. Um, I'm still working on that. Um, hopefully here, at some point, I can get that up for you guys. Don't mind my laundry baskets. Um, so, I will see you when I have my next video, which hopefully won't be as long. Um... Because Easter was, what, back in March? And it's now August. Um, so hopefully it doesn't take that long to get another video out to you guys. Um, once Zach starts school, it'll be a little easier. Because um, I won't have three of them driving me crazy. I only have two. Um, and Jackson is becoming more independent. So that makes it a lot easier. He's not a baby baby anymore where he just wants to eat and sleep. Um... Which was, um, a lot of work for me because I am, I was, and I still am nursing. So it's not like I can just give him a bottle and lay him down. Um, I have to take, t take the time to stop what I'm doing to feed him and stuff like that. So hopefully it won't be too long before I get the next video out to you guys. Um, I hope you liked the back to school haul. Um, and I will see you next time. <laughs>